Hello to my friends who are working virtually at home today. I have a story to read to you, and it is a story about mud and animals that like to play in the mud like piggies. The story is called Hogwash, and it looks like these piggies on the front cover of my book really need a bath. So let's get started. I'm going to open up my story to the title page. And if you look at the title page, you see the title again. It says Hogwash. That's the name of the book. The author's name is Karma Wilson, and she is the person who wrote the words. And the illustrator is Jim McMullen, and he is the person that drew the pictures, and they are beautiful. You can see here there's a big picture of a farm. There's piggies and horses and chickens and ducks. So let's start our story. This is a really funny one. So one warm day in early May, Farmer had a plan to spring clean all his animals till each was spick and span. Because they all look pretty dirty, don't they? Oh my goodness, look at all those piggies in the mud. Farmer fetched a pail and soap, put on his cleaning duds, then went out to the water spout and lathered up some suds. So here you can see he's carrying a bucket of soapy water and some scrub brushes, and he's starting to clean all of his animals. He washed the horses, ducks, and cows, the goats, the cats, the dogs. Everything went dandy until Farmer reached his hogs. Now, hog is another name for pig. So when we talk about hogs, we're talking about pigs. The pigs got out their toolbox, and they boarded up their pen. No matter what poor farmer said, they wouldn't let him in. Here's their sign over here. It says, no hogwash for us today. Pigs love dirt, so go away. That's silly. Farmer scratched his head and thought. Then he said, here's what I'll do. Since those pigs have locked me out, I'll spray some water through. So he dragged a hose up to the fence and turned it on full power. If you pigs won't take a bath, I'll give you all a shower. So you can see he pulled the hose up and he's squirting it into the pen, trying to give them a shower. Hmm, I wonder if that's going to work. The pigs got their umbrellas out and put on their rubber suits. They stomped through muddy puddles in their shiny yellow boots. They all dug in and made mud pies. They had a mud ball war. They squished and splashed and hammed it up. More filthy than before. Wait, what? So boys and girls, if you mix water with dirt, what does it make? It makes mud, right? So when he squirted that hose into their dirty pen, he made more mud for the piggies to play in. And they have another sign that says, No hogwash. Pigs don't scrub. We like wearing grime and grub. So he actually made it more fun for them. Farmer stomped his feet and yelled, You oinkers got me riled. They still refused to take a bath. Those pigs had gone hog wild. Here's another sign from the piggies. It says, keep your soap and buckets, bud, bud. Thanks for making all this mud. Oh, boy. That made Farmer very angry. Suey, suey, Farmer called. I've got some mash and oats. The pigs were not impressed at all. Go feed it to the goats. 
So he was trying to get the piggies to take a bath if he gave them some food. Kind of like Grandma did in our story yesterday when she's trying to get all the horses and the pigs to leave the mud in the middle of the road and go eat supper. But it didn't work for Farmer. Farmer lied. It's the pizza man. I've got your pizza pie. The pigs weren't fooled one little bit. Just ha just leave it by the sty. That's another name for a pig pen, is a pig sty. Was that really the pizza man? No way, that was farmer and the piggies knew it. Farmer muttered, stamped, and growled. You're stubborn and pig-headed, he said. The pigs just snorted <sighs> with disgust. No hogwash, just forget it. No matter what the farmer tried, they wouldn't let him come inside. Farmer pondered for a while. Farmer grinned a crafty smile. Farmer yelled, that's it, by gosh. Look out, hogs, it's time to wash. He had a really good plan. Oh, and it's a big one, too. I finally found the perfect plan. I know just what to do. Then Farmer filled his crop dust plane with water and shampoo. So here he's pouring water and shampoo into his plane. And I think he's planning on dropping it on the piggies. He climbed into the pilot's seat and set off on his mission. He flew above the pigeon, armed with sudsy ammunition. Oh boy, do you think this plan is going to work, boys and girls? Mm, I don't know. Farmer cried, it's washing day. Look out, piggies. Bombs away. And you can see here he's letting go all the water in this shampoo, and it's all falling down towards the piggies. Farmer sweeped to make a pass. <gasps> Uh-oh. Farmer's plane ran out of gas. Farmer gulped. Gulp. The engine sputtered. Just my luck, the farmer muttered. Down the plane went like a rock. Look out, I'm going to crash. The pigs began to squeal in fright. Clunk, clack, bang, boom, bash. <gasps> Clunk, clump, boom, bang, bash. Boys and girls, where is Farmer Brown headed? To the mud with the piggies? I don't think that was his plan. All the horses, ducks, and cows, the goats, the cats, the dogs, ran to help the farmer, and they found him with those hogs. They're all looking over the fence, and farmer is inside with the piggies in the mud. There was Farmer, soaked in grime, having quite a splendid time. Wait, what? A splendid time? Look at his face. He's not mad. He's actually happy and having fun. He joined the pigs and made mud pies. He wallowed all around. He splished and splashed and hammed it up and rolled upon the ground. Wow, I didn't expect that. Farmer saw the animals and called out, Come and play. The mud is great. Let's celebrate. We'll bathe some other day. Some of my friends at school today said that they thought this looked like a big pool, a swimming pool of mud. It sure does. That's one big mud puddle. From then on, Farmer never tried to wash his hogs again, but every other day he took a mud bath in their pen. 
Oh, that's funny. So you can see Farmer heading towards the pig pen, and Piggy's waiting with, for him with a smile, and they're going to go swim and play in the mud. It must be super fun to play in mud. The end. Well, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that story, and I can't wait for our next story time together tomorrow.